guys welcome to my channel I just wanted to give you a quick introduction to creating a simple LED circuit before we get into my favorite bit the sculpting as you can see I have grown a set of man hands and this has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I have no idea how to create a circuit myself um, if you already know how to create a simple circuit then you can skip through to 2 minutes and 26 In this next bit I decided I wanted to create a fireball to sit in Ifrit's hand which I thought would look kind of cool. Um, so I decided to use uh, curable crystal resin um, so you can cure that under a UV lamp. Um, just don't be a spanner like I was and um, make sure you use gloves because otherwise you could potentially stick yourself to your piece just like I did. As you can see, I like to work in absolute chaos as I am sculpting. This will only progressively get worse throughout the entire video, so I do apologize for that. And I also apologize for my giant head occasionally popping into screen. This is quite a big piece. So um, yeah, I couldn't help it sometimes. I'm sorry.
I wanted Ifrit's throne to look quite uh, lava-like, so the best way to get a rock texture was to use a rock. So I used my trusty rock that I stole from my neighbour's garden. Very, very sorry, next door neighbour. This part took hours to do, but it was worth it in the end and it does look really, really cool at the end of it. I spent quite some time mulling over for hours actually uh, how to make a flame out of clay and I happened to figure it out using a paintbrush end so it was a little easier than I thought it would be. The best way for me to describe it really is by sort of just jamming the end of the paintbrush into the clay and then dragging upwards in sort of like a swirling motion to give it that sort of moving flame effect. After every break that you do, when you put the LED light into the oven, um, your best option that I found is to put it on at 100 and leave it for no longer than 18 minutes at any one time. I also put it in from a cold oven and once it was out I allowed it to completely cool before I even thought about testing to see if the light bulb worked again. I'm now making the armature for Ifrit. I'm using 10 gauge wire and I'm going to bulk him out using tin foil um, and hopefully hold him together but it's using the worst masking tape I have ever bought in my life. Um, also to create his arms I create them quite a bit longer than I needed them because I wasn't sure sort of where I needed the LED light to be sitting and that sort of thing so I wanted to have a little bit of maneuverability to his frame. Now we're going to give Ifrit some of his features and um, I decided that the best option really was to put up a load of muscly men pictures on my computer. Am I going to complain? No I'm not. 
But in all seriousness, it is a good idea to have reference pictures um, so that you can sort of gauge where muscles need to be and in what position. best time to give Ifrit a little bit of dignity. <laughs> Okay, so it's time to give Ifrit a head. Um, I figured the best way forward for this was to put some black clay, although I only had some sparkly clay, so he's got a sparkly inside his mouth. Um, but I needed to put something dark behind um, all the teeth because I knew that I wouldn't be able to get a paintbrush in there. I did pre-bake all of the, the little teeth that I'm making here. Um, I have to say that I'm very sorry, but I did lose some footage of me putting the teeth in, but the, your best option is to pre-bake them and then just sort of pop them into the soft clay into your head.
I did Ifrit's horns in two stages. On the first stage, I just put um, a small snake of clay going round the wire, um, pre-baked that, and then decided to build the actual horn off of something a little bit sturdier and more substantial rather than just the wire. Ordinarily, I wouldn't put a painted piece back into the oven just in case the paint bubbles up or anything like that. But on this occasion, I knew that once if it was seated in the throne, there was going to be places that were going to be unreachable with my paintbrush. So I decided to paint the throne and the back of Ifrit um, before they had been completely sculpted. I painted all the cracks in the lava white first just so that the yellow would be really really vivid when I put that on top. As you can see, Ifrit's right arm probably looks quite emaciated, but there is a reason for that. Um, once he sat down on his throne, I intend to build the muscle around wire um, for the LED lights so that there's no wire showing.
Once I had done the final bake on it for it, as you can see there is some black clay like stuff sat in the hand where the fireball is. That's Milliput, which is a air dry epoxy clay, um, two part epoxy resin type clay that you mix together. Um, leave that for sort of 30 minutes and then try and sculpt it into your sculpture. It just saves putting resin in the oven which is actually quite dangerous. I originally only painted Ifrit's horns black but I decided um, off screen that I wanted them to have a little bit more life so I painted some folk art colour shift purple over the top of them, gave them a nice sort of sheen. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you like Ifrit as much as I enjoyed making him. If there is anything you do actually like to see me make in the future then just drop a comment in the comments box and I'll get back to you. Um, thanks again and don't forget to hit the like, share and subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Thanks again, bye!